Welcome to Footage Factory. Subscribe! Today we're going to be placing the old coil. That's right. I tested this because I stuck my finger in, I licked the end, and I even touched the, the ground and it wasn't sparking. So if you're a man, that's how you really test this thing. So I got me an MSD ignition. So hopefully it starts right up. I'm going to show you guys the installation of this bad boy. Go, Turkey. Go, go, go. So they... I've already pulled out the old coil. It goes right about there. Connects from to this bad boy. Yeah, that's where you stick your tongue in and you put your finger to the ground if you want to test it. This is the connection that it goes to. Um, the reason I'm replacing it is because this thing just completely died in the middle of the road while the wife was driving it. I've already replaced the crank positioning sensor. I'll make another video about that if you guys want me to do it. It's pretty difficult. I have a few tricks to make sure the bolt doesn't get dropped into the housing, which is would be a pain in the ass at the drop the engine. Anyways, so today we're going to install the new MSD coil and see if this bad boy starts right up. All right, so the bolt that we're using is a 10 millimeter. That's right. As you can tell, I'm extremely organized. If you want to make sure you're a good mechanic, make sure you have good organization skills a lot like me. Um, I'm so organized I even lost the nut to the back of this. It's okay because I got replacement bolts and nuts right here sitting on top of my toolbox. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm going to spend the next five to ten minutes looking for the other nut and bolt. Yeah, and then after that, I'm, if I can't find them, I'm just going to replace them with these. That's how I work on my Jeep. Just replace all the bolts because you lose them all. That's how shit works. My Jeep is literally eating up more nuts and bolts than any vehicle I own, have ever owned. Yeah. I found the nuts and bolts right there. Best place to leave them on the ledge of your hood. So here is the crank positioning sensor, which I replaced. I have a new one in there. Um, and now I begin to think that this one is serviceable. This one's not too bad. I'll show you how to replace that one if you guys really want me to. But time to put this in. All right, so I got the coil bolted in finger tight now I'm gonna plug up the wires and bring the wife out here and start this bad boy that's right <laughs> MSD ignition coil installed she's running oh man I couldn't be happier this thing's running kind of smooth too oh yeah oh yeah Fucker sounds good! Jeep's running! Got a new ignition coil!